Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. I wanted to talk to you today about your final project, uh, your final portfolio, I should say. <clears throat> um, and that is replacing your final exam by putting together all the projects that you did for the quarter and then also answering some questions. So um, first of all, every project should have a cover page. Um, the items on that cover page are right here in this rubric. And then um, you should also have all of the other items that are listed here in the order that they're listed. So I'm going to be going through and checking off. Did you have the project one in review and two in review and that kind of thing? If you're taking a summer class, you may only have three projects. But for everybody else, you should have four. And then the My Open Math Reflection, the Weekly Videos Reflection, and Reflection, and the Overall Course Reflection. So make sure you get those in that order. Whenever you're looking at the four projects, you're looking at make sure the project is completed. It's as completed by your group. If you made some mistakes in it, you don't have to go back and fix those. But if somebody else submitted the project, then you don't have it. You need to contact them and get that so that that goes into your pro into your final portfolio. Not a link to the project because most of the time I can't open the links and I don't want to try and spend time hunting that down. And not in a separate document. In the actual one document contains everything. If you don't have the project or the reflection, then you would um, lose credit. There's a one question at the end that asks you to describe the project in your own words and then also just kind of reflect on what you learned about it or what your experience was with it. I'm looking for complete sentences there, so I'll take off points if you don't do that. Um, and then the My Open Math Reflection, it's just a series of questions like, were, was it hard to enter answers there? Did you feel like you had enough time on tests and quizzes? Those kind of questions, and, and you answer one if you don't agree, and five if you do. And if it's something that you didn't use, like one of the questions is, did Desmos help you complete the assignment? Well, you might not have used Desmos, so you would use the NA option there. So one through four, five or NA on all those questions. There were weekly videos, like that's just so cool, and is college education a good uh experience. Some classes I have five videos, sometimes I have six. I think I have had seven in the past, but so just you might see a form where there's a video listed that you didn't see. That's fine. Just talk about the ones that you did see. Um, and there you can use yes and no answers, except if I say why or why not, then you should answer in a complete sentence. Um, and then your final overall course reflection, I want you to see that that's 16 points. That's the biggest item in the in the bunch. Um, there are some questions where you're ranking things from one to eight, what things you like the least and things you like the most. If you do that correctly, you'll only use each number one time. For instance, the thing you hated the most was, let's say, working on my open math, that's number one. If the thing you liked the most was being able to take your midterm at home, that might be number eight, but one through eight. And then um, there's a few other questions to answer that have a one to five scale. And then at the end, it says for you to write a few paragraphs reflecting on your experience in the class overall. This is not a critique of me. This is your reflection on what did you think about stats when you came in? I have some prompts there so you can decide, but how did you feel about it after you were done? Was it harder than you thought? Was it easier than they thought? Did you have any positive experiences? etc. You can say if you have a negative experience, but this is really not, this is just for me to read to try to think about, okay, everybody said they hated Project 3, so maybe I need to fix that one for next quarter. So it is kind of a chance for me to see what you didn't like or what you did like, um, what you found helpful, or maybe you didn't think that there were enough videos posted or that the homework didn't match up to the videos. You can reflect on negative things like that. That would help me uh, fix the class better. But again, it's not just a, a critique of me as an instructor. And then um, all the documents, 16 points. So if you just have one or two sentences like, didn't think I liked this class, turns out I do. Well, that's not really two complete sentence paragraphs. And so you would lose points for that. So make sure you do that because it's actually 10 points uh, of the 80 is that response. All right, then all the documents have been compiled into one document and submitted on Canvas. So I don't want you to submit multiple documents. So that's six points. If you do that, I'm just going to take off. If I have to go open up a separate graph because you're saying, I didn't know how to put that in. Figure out how to do that. That's part of the portfolio experience instead of a final. You can go on to YouTube and say, how do I merge a 
Excel document into a uh, PowerPoint, uh, PowerPoint or how do I put a Word document into whatever, PDF, whatever it is, how, whatever format you're turning your project in, get it all into that one format. And remember, there's always options of taking screenshots and putting a screenshot into a document. That's okay as long as it's legible. And I'm not talking about using your camera to take a picture of the screen because those are never legible on my end. So take a picture of the screen using screenshot formatting. Again, if you're not sure how to do that, go onto YouTube and find out how. Um, the final portfolio needs to be assembled in an aesthetically pleasing way and it should include an overall color or design theme. So make a little bit of an effort, whether you put it into uh, PowerPoint and have a, the same background on all of them, or if you do a Word document, you can do a title page that has a design, maybe have that design show up in a few other places. It doesn't have to be on every page, but your final, uh, just it should have a look, an overall look, like you actually thought of this as a complete document. You didn't just dump everything into a Word document and submit it. That's another six points um, that you can earn for just kind of making a little effort on that. This is 20% of your grade for most classes. Sometimes it's 15% depending on what class you're in. So take a look at your um, syllabus in your course and to know what this is. I should say this is 15 to 20% of your grade. Um, usually it is. Sometimes I don't think it's ever more than that. So, all right, so that's the rubric. Look through that when you're finished with your project and make sure you have all of those things included and you should be fine. Have a great day.